gonna be cooking anything, but this time I'm gonna be talking about my Rubik's cubes. Probably notice this in the intro, but I solving a puzzle then, and it's this one. My carbon fiber pyraminx. This is my world's smallest Rubik's Cube. Pick up this one. It's my original Rubik's 3x3. Free free. It turns terrible. Here's a Rubik's Cube I got in a vending machine you should really not do these do this if you're starting because these tend to explode i learned that the wrong way here we have my dad's original rubik's brain this is my rubik's ball it's quite nice it turns terribly and also one of the stickers is missing this is a this is a foam bag-like style Rubik's Cube. It can turn into this, or it can be solved. I like it solved. Here we have my original off-brand 3x3, free free, not a Rubik's one, if you're wondering. It's quite big, quite bulky, and mm, nice. You may think of this as hard, but it's really easy. And it has purple? It's a Mo-U brand. Here we have a Rubik's keychain. You can pick these up at most stores that are not Walmarts near where I live. This is easy to put on your keys, as you may have guessed. It's a keychain. How do I display my puzzles? I like to display them with a color called red. Here I have a stand and my Disney cube. And I display it like that. You can display it however you want, like that, that, if you're a noob. I don't know how stands work. Oh, and uh, my Disney cube. I bought it at Disneyland, it turns pretty nicely, but that's all for it. It also has some other random color scheme. Like, purple's above red instead of blue. Now, good twisty puzzles. For 2x2 and 3x3, I recommend this brand, Duncan's brand. Quite fast and controllable. Unlike other brands, where their speed cubes are too slow or too unreliable. And also, don't be one of those cubers who calls every, every brand that's not Rubik's, Rubik's. Don't be one of those guys. If you want to find good puzzles, I'd recommend Speed Cube Shop or any, or any store that's, any online store that's dedicated to Rubik's brands and other stuff like that. Or go on Amazon if your Speed Cube Shop sucks. And whatever you do, if you're ordering off Speed Cube Shop, don't do Speed Cube Shop UK. It's a knockoff which scams people. So, questions about what puzzle you should buy when you're starting out. Hmm, a semi-fat puzzle, for example, Duncan's brand, or just your dollar, or just your average dollar store cube, like this one here. That turns real good. Unless you're that nooblet and picks up a picture cube and you'll never learn how to solve that. You can leave questions. In, in the comment section. Oh, um, that's pretty much it. Bye. See you next time. Oh wait, I have a can, a Canadian puzzle down here. I could, I would grab it, but it's under a lot of puzzles. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Professor Cube signing off. Actually, I have two of these, but the other one is falling apart. What just happened there?